Right now on 12 News at 10, a monsoon alert. We've had pretty eventful afternoon storms sweeping across much of the valley, like you see here in this wild video, in Queen Creek. This is from our weather watcher, Karen Barnes. And we do want to take a live look at the conditions right now from the Loop 101 and Indian School Road. You can see things a little bit more calm in this part of the valley, but we don't know how much things are going to change in the overnight hours. Yeah, we've seen some slick roads out there. Here's another look at this afternoon's strong system. Our ADOT camera at the I-10 in Avondale in the West Valley. The heavy rain making the streets pretty slick, also creating some visibility problems. And we want to send things over to Jimmy Q, who's staying up late with us tonight because of all the monsoon activity we've seen. We haven't seen things quite like this in almost two weeks. Jimmy, how are they shaping up? Yeah, it's been a while right now. The West Valley did get hit with storms, but as usual in monsoon fashion, not everybody saw the rain. East Valley all the way to Central Phoenix, from Paradise Valley to Scottsdale, pretty much on the dry side. Right now, though, relatively quiet. Any of the watches and the warnings are way down towards the south. Uh, south of Tucson, we have a severe thunderstorm warning still in effect. There is a lot of activity out there uh, still around the valley. Relatively quiet though, although uh, you can definitely see we have a flash flood warning in effect. That's going to be well to the south of Maricopa, south of Buckeye in Pinal County, and a flash flood uh, watch also down towards the south of us. That's going to go for another uh, hour or so. But for the most part, looking pretty quiet. All that storm activity is mainly towards the south of us. When we come back, we're going to have complete coverage of the radar and what you can expect for the big Labor Day forecast, including your seven day outlook. Stay